Hey Drake and Dustin, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield. Uh, gonna walk around this 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport, uh, the HSE all-wheel drive. Um, this thing is awesome. I just took it for a quick spin and here I am in Mayfield outside one of our service centers on the bottom lot here. This is our headquarters in Mayfield. If you were to go to the end of this dead end street right here, all the way to the end, you would see uh, more service centers our reconditioning facility and uh, a lot more of our resources here like our delivery trucks and stuff like that uh, that uh, drake is familiar with of course at our madison location we just continue to grow and let's uh let's focus on uh this vehicle and just what i've seen on it um driving it was a blast uh so i'm glad i got to take it for a quick spin uh the all-wheel drive is um awesome it hugs the road and uh, you gotta be careful, it's very quick. It's a uh, speeding ticket waiting to happen if you're not careful, but really cool to see the, uh, to feel the power of it. Front of it looks great. Not a lot of rock pecs or bug damage, couple little bugs on it from uh, the drive I just went on, but uh, super, super nice across the front. Uh, you can see that honeycomb type grill that Land Rover is uh, really iconic for, and uh, everything is in really good shape. Uh, so I always tell people, you know, all of our vehicles are used. Even our super nice ones like this one are used. They're all pre-owned. None of them are going to be perfect. So uh, this isn't going to be blemish free. There's going to be a scratch or two on it. And there may be a scratch or two that I miss. Like that's a spot right there. A little rock looks like came up and caught it. <clears throat> so I may miss one or two things, but uh, I'm going to give you a really good idea of the overall shape of it. Um, it does have some pollen on it right now because it's that time of year. So you can tell by my... Uh, nasally voice and cough and stuff but uh uh so you can see a little bit of pollen a little bit of brake dust on those wheels but uh obviously they clean up super nice those black land rover wheels uh these are pirelli tires so really high dollar tire on there and they are not new i'm gonna put them at like 50 percent tread uh so you'd have maybe a year year and a half of driving on those before you'd have to do anything uh but really 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 nice otherwise um Let's look down the driver's side here. I'm not seeing anything in the way of dings, scratchy, scratches, waviness in the paint, anything like that. Across the roof is great. We'll do that. We'll do the interior here in a little bit and show off that panoramic roof. But uh, let's look down the passenger side now. And I always want to check the wheels like see a little bit of scraping there on the edge of that wheel same thing with this one a little bit a little bit right there along the top of that but that's me being pretty picky with the uh, uh used uh kind of luxury suv like this we a lot of times on these weeks we honestly expect to see the wheels in worse shape than that because they get curbed and scraped all the time this one is very very good back bumper looks good hatch looks good awesome all right so let's go ahead and start making our way to the inside here of course you got the automatic lift a really nice land rover mat in the back a little bit of discoloring on that but What's great about this is it can be taken out, pressure washed, hosed, and then just thrown back in. Sidewalls look good. A lot of times on the sidewalls of a mid-sized SUV like this, you'll see them scraped and all that stuff from luggage or strollers or whatever. Nothing to point out here. Storage is good. Spare is good. Get an idea of just how nice this thing on the inside is looking through it like that. So really good back here. Nice floor mats, factory Land Rover mats. Air controls in the back, awesome. And these do have some slide to them. You can see the rails that they sit in. So a little more cargo space if you want it or leg room if you want it, just depending on how you want to slide those. Great, great, great. No smells, uh, actually it looks like maybe like a tablet holder 
some sort of uh, accessory right there. That's really cool. Um, no smells, no smoke smell, no animal smells. Seat backs look good. Keyless entry here. Driver's seat with all kinds of different like comfort settings. Like, so you got the lumbar support, lower and upper, which is awesome. Memory seat, driver door's great. Real nice finish there. You got the Meridian sound system. Power windows, power mirrors, of course. Uh, this display is awesome. Very responsive, very quick. See the navigation there. Um, let's see, what else was I seeing? Your uh, sound system works, sounds great. And uh, if you're seeing the screen flicker a little bit, that's just the way it gets captured on our phones. Uh, it is a steady image. It is not flickering at all. Uh, but notice you got heated and cooled seats. Um, I noticed you could touch this and adjust that. There's full cool. And then obviously you can make it a heated seat as well, but nice and warm today. So I'm not going to do that. Um, your different drive modes pop up here um, as you adjust there. So there's going to be all kinds of really cool YouTube videos and tutorials on this to help you figure it out. I always joke with people, vehicles like this are smarter than me. Uh, so it is kind of hard to uh, know all of the ins and outs when we sell Audi, Porsche, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Land Rover, and all the different, uh, all the different brands. So, a um, couple different accessories and stuff in here. You got your uh, owner's manual. That's always a good sign. Uh, heated seats. There's your menu controls. Uh, you've got uh, lane assist on the driving, which will actually help keep the vehicle in the center of the lane, kind of adjust it for you as you're driving along. It'll also warn you to put your hands back on the wheel if you take your hands off. So uh, you can turn that on and off. You got your heated steering wheel. Um, I am super impressed. Big roof. Uh, it's just a beautiful vehicle. You've actually got a digital rear view mirror as well if you wanted to go that route instead of just the traditional look. Um, so really, really nice, crisp, clear image. Um, and you do have a heads up display. It's gonna be flickering in the image. If you look straight ahead, right at that white Chevy Equinox over there, uh, you'll see a, a, the speedometer right there at zero miles per hour. Um, so again, that's not a flickering image. That is a steady image. It's just the way it gets captured on our phones. So there it is, a quick little walk around of it. I am uber pleased with it. Um, all things considered for the year in miles, uh, this is a winner. And that color is a 10 out of 10. Looks so good in the sun. Um, offset with the black wheels to go with the black top. I mean, it's just a uh, just a cool look. The black grill, of course. Um, and what's awesome is that it'll qualify for one of our factory type total care warranties, uh, which is so nice because it's not just engine and transmission coverage, but it goes beyond that and does even that touch screen, the backup camera, the parking sensor, stuff like that. Um, and it's a nationwide coverage. So any certified mechanic that can work on Land Rover can do the work. Doesn't have to be a Land Rover dealer, but obviously it can be if you want it to. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not a huge warranty guy, but I've bought it three times, uh, actually four times now. Uh, and there's no deductible on it, parts and labor both included. And it has really good roadside assistance that comes with it too. Make sure and ask Drake about that. He's got a funny story about that that is uh, one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, we would love to uh, love to make this one yours. Let me know what else I can do to help.